Holy crap, what is Bush Gardens Williamsburg doing now? Well, as many of you probably already know, in addition to receiving Pantheon, the new multi-launching Intamin coaster this year in 2020, Bush Gardens has also been planning for another huge coaster edition for 2021. And over the past couple days, there have actually been a lot of leaks made by BGWFans.com. And before I jump into any of this, I just want to say if you guys have not seen any of the articles BGW Fans has posted, I highly suggest going to their website and reading all of these articles that they've released. Uh, up to this point, there are two that they've released over the past couple days detailing many of the plans approved by the council county for this roller coaster and there are lots of documents that go really into detail about what this ride will contain and many other things definitely go check that out it's definitely worth reading i'm not going to go over all of that in a lot of detail in this video and those articles are pretty long so i'm just going to go over some of the basics and um, what i think about this new ride So on January 20th, we got our first update, which features foundation plans for this ride and the guys at BGW Fans try to connect the dots of the layout. Essentially, we have an overhead view of what this coaster is going to look like and also lots of other information contained within these documents as well. And a couple people pieced together these awesome on-ride and off-ride animations of what they believed based on these documents that this ride would look like. Essentially, it appeared that this would be an Intamin multi-launching shuttle coaster, a Giga launch shuttle coaster. This is going to be the Giga that has been talked about for a while, and it will potentially reach anywhere from 355 to 375 feet tall. It's pretty insane. But one day later, on January 21st, BGW fans posted these leaked electrical plans, which basically reveal almost everything about this ride. It really answers a lot of the questions that they weren't sure about in that initial posting from a couple days ago, and this posting from the 21st first shows detailed support diagrams which basically show us what almost the entire layout is going to be. Now what we know about this ride so far it looks like it's going to go out of the station on a switch track and we're not exactly sure how the trains are going to be moved around exactly yet but it looks like there's going to be two or three trains and you're going to be moved on the switch track so it's going to have really good capacity and there's going to be a backward spike right behind the station. We don't know if it's going to be vertical, it could possibly even be beyond vertical, or it might not reach a vertical, but there's going to be a spike where you go backwards on the backwards launch. So you're going to have a swing launch at the start to get you going. Once you leave the station, you're going to have the swing launch to start things off. You're going to ascend this back spike at a moderate pace, and then you're going to hit a forwards launch, and you'll go up the small hill here. And then you'll traverse this overbank curve. And then you'll dip down into the valley. And this is where you hit the main launch. And it appears that you will tower up this huge 355 foot tall spiral, which just looks absolutely insane. You fall backwards, you hit the launch backwards, you go through that overbank turn. And by the way, they're guessing that this ma the main launch on the ride is gonna reach around 75 miles per hour, could actually be faster. A lot of it is guesstimation at this point. We don't have those details readily available. But Jake Anderson did this POV concept on No Limits. And then Intim305 also did this off-ride animation, which they look absolutely fantastic. They did a really good job depicting what this ride could look like. They've dubbed this ride Drakenspire as homage to Drakenfire, which used to sit on this plot of land. So I know that there are a lot of details missing from this video. I really have not covered everything here. And once again, I encourage everyone to go read all all of those BGW fans articles they go into a lot of detail we pretty much know everything about the ride save for the name and the theme and some minor details about the ride itself as well 
So what do I think about a ride like this coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg? Well, first of all, I don't feel like it makes a whole lot of sense coming right off of Pantheon. It seems really similar. I feel like it doesn't make the most sense right now to add this, but it's also unique in its own way. I think it's going to be a really weird ride, which I think is awesome. It looks like it's going to be crazy intense. I think it will be a fantastic ride, and it's just insane because Busch Gardens Williamsburg has been adding so many launch coasters. It seems they're trying to be the launch coaster capital of the world. They're just going all in, especially with, you know, all these huge Intamin launch coasters they're getting. I mean, I think Pantheon looks like it will be a better ride than whatever this ride is going to be called, but this ride is just going to be insane. And speaking of all these amazing additions that Busch Gardens Williamsburg has been adding in recent years, King's Dominion really needs to do something to step up their game. They've been losing these rides left and right. Right? Whatever they have coming down the line in the future, it better be good to compete with Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But what do you guys think about this new ride that we know all these details about now? Do you think it'll be better than Pantheon? Are you excited to go and ride something like this? Let me know all that in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.